There's been an awful lot of um, sites hit over the past couple of months. Uh, yeah. But what's your thoughts about some some affiliate marketers who are trying to fake all these signals instead of just doing, just putting on what's real? You know, like I'm seeing a lot of sites. Is it right? Okay, I've been here. I've ticked this box. We've put this persona on, but they're not real people or real avenues. I don't think it's the right thing to do, if I'm being honest. Like, I think... And I know people might who's listening to this might not like me saying this, but if you're if I go and create a site with a fake persona, fake persona, and you can reverse engineer and reverse image look up that person, or how many times is Mark Preston been mentioned online? And are you an expert about dishwashers? Right? And if you're not, and you've not written, and there's nobody else who's mentioned anything about how you not, I mean, you don't even need to be an expert about dishwashers. You could be, are you an electrician? Have you ever serviced them? Have you ever repaired them? Or at least, has Mark Preston opened up some of these boxes and done an unboxing and seen to be used one of these dishwashers? No. Right. Well, if you've not, I think Google's done ve very a good thing by, do you know what? You've probably not bought them 10 best washing machines. You've not bought all 10. You've not used all 10. All what you've done is sorted by who pays the highest affiliate commission to who pays the lowest affiliate commission. And no disrespect, you deserve to be slapped. You deserve it because you've not got a real business. You've not got a real telephone number. You've not got a real email address. You're not a real person. And you know what? You've not even bought them 10 dishwashers. So for that reason, in my opinion, and I know it sounds harsh, you deserve it. 